Let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. Sadiq Bay is free to trade you on the poster. You know the facts, the robbery test, the roaster. Killer get haze, deadly handles, I'll expose you. Cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Pistol Mike. Back again on the mic. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button for your boy. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why it don't cost you anything. Not even a nickel or dime. Let's get into today's video. If the Pistons do these things in the offseason, we will make the playoffs. Number one. We got to absolutely kill it in the draft. We might have to, have to get another lottery pick. If we could get two lottery picks, um, we could make it to the playoff. Two, we got to get better free agents who can stay healthy and on the court. No more of these free agents that are injury prone. And that's going to be injured. If we're going to bring somebody, we need him to be able to help the team and stay healthy. That is the key. We got to win in the draft, absolutely kill it in the draft, and we got to absolutely kill it in the free agency by adding players who can stay on the court in general. You know, if we do them two things right there, we can make the play off for sure. Them two things would be the major key why you see us take a big step. And number three, we got to keep all of our players on the court. We need to stay healthy. If we can't stay healthy, we ain't never going to reach our potential. It seems like every year we get hit with the entry bug, so we might have to, tra we might have to change our training staff, bro. But hold on. Yeah, like I said, we got to draft right. Um, we got to be looking at guys like J um, Jabari Smith Jr., Paolo, Jaden Ivey, Johnny Davis, um, Jalen Durham, possibility, and, you know, players like that. Patrick Baldwin Jr. wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't know if he falling in the 30s. I would take a chance on him, but before that, I don't know. You've been playing a little little crazy, but he still got potential. Um, but we got to look at players like that. And if we could get, like, multiple picks, and if we could get another lottery pick in the si top 10 or top 15, then we really could be talking about, like, getting Jabari Smith and then um, Jaden Hardy or getting Pablo and, like, Jaden Hardy or getting Jaden... Um, Jaden Hardy and like Jabari Smith or some some of that car um or Jalen Duran and Johnny Davis like that would make us you know that would make us instant you know what I'm saying almost ready to go like getting players like young players like that that's talented who's ready to go right now and then you'd be looking at free agency you know you might want to get a solid free agent guy like. <clears throat> Lonnie Walker or something like Lonnie Walker and people like that or young solid big, you know, maybe Mo Bamba or somebody who's older, you know, and that would really make us a team to watch out for in the playoffs. You feel me? Or a team that's on possibly could make the playoffs or on the verge or probably doing it in this season, just like that. It's literally not that hard. All you would have to do is them them steps. So what do y'all think? Who, what free agents should we go after? And who should we draft? Um, if we do, literally, I'm going to title this video, if the Pistons do these three things, we will make the playoffs next year. All we got to do is do, change these three things or do these three things and we make a layer. Even though it's two major important things, but yeah.
That's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell button, man. I'm Grab chick, had him sick. K Cunningham. Ask John to dunk him, man. I don't know about y'all, but we come to win. I'm a Raza Grant. They all jumping in. Pistol Mike. We taking flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yeah, it's just the mic.